Welcome to today's lesson. This lesson is for Form 3 students or pupils. The textbook is closed up and the unit is Unit 1. The topic is Family Ties. First, let's look at the learning standards. We have the main skill which is reading 3.1.1 to understand the main points in longer text on an increased range of familiar topics. And then we have the second main skill which is writing 4.1.5 organize sequence and develop ideas within short text on familiar topics and then we have the complementary skill speaking 2.1.4 explain own point of view for the pre-lesson activity pupils uh, you can form other words using the title for today's topic, Family Ties. Okay, for example, uh, you can form the word file, F-I-L-E, or the word eight, E-A-T, or S-A-F-E, safe. Now, for the first lesson, we are going to do reading. The title for the text is Meet the Ancestors. Okay, first of all, you have to look at the word focus. We have four words in the word focus. First is gene. Gene is part of a cell passed from parents to children that determines how they look. Generation, they are the people of about the same age in a particular family. Then ancestor. Ancestor is a person related to you who lived a long time ago. Then we have genealogy, the study of family history. Now let's look at the passage or the text. Meet the ancestors. Paragraph 1. When you look in the mirror, do you see your father's smile? Maybe you take after your mother or look like a grandparent. That's because of DNA. Our DNA contains genes that make each person in the world different. No two People look, think, or act the same. We pass down our genes through generations. Scientists can test your DNA to find out which part of the world your ancestors were from. Paragraph 2. Your family's history may be a mystery to you, but there's a way to find out about it. It's called genealogy, and it's the study of the people you are related to. Genealogy helps you put together your family history. It starts with the relatives you know, such as parents and grandparents, and then you can learn about ancestors who lived and died before you were born. Paragraph 3. It isn't difficult to learn about your past. You can begin by asking your relatives questions about your ancestors. While you are talking with family members, take notes. This helps you organize any information you get. Make sure you write down any names, dates, or places people mention. Then, you can draw a family tree with your name at the top. Then, you would add all the relatives from you to your great-grandparents so you can see how everyone is related. Paragraph 4. If there are any blank boxes in your Three, it's time for detective work. Many people begin at the a library where they can look for family names in old newspapers. Public records are usually a very good thing to look at too. They have information about birth, marriages and death certificates too. Some records show when people moved to a country. Sometimes records tell you where people went to school and what their job was. You can also search the internet. With every bit of research you do, you are discovering your family's history. Next, you have the exam task. So this is part of the exam task, which is in your textbook. So now let's look at task one. Look at the sentences below about studying your family history. Read the text to decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Write true or false. 
So there are 10 statements here. Then you can ask your uh, pupils to write the answer in the exercise book or in the Google form. So there is a link for the Google form. You can create a Google form and put the link here. So let's look at the questions. Number one, we look the way we do because of the genes in our DNA. So is it true or false? Number two, a DNA test can show where in the world our ancestors lived. Number three, you can find out the number of relatives you have in a DNA test. Number four, genealogy is the history of our past and present family members. Number five, relatives who are alive could have information about ancestors. Number six, a family tree shows how you are related to other people in your family. Number seven, a detective can help you to find information about your family. Number eight, it is possible to buy old newspapers at some libraries. Number nine, public records tell you when people were born. Number 10, the text says that websites can help you find information about your ancestors. So there are 10 statements here. You have to decide whether they are true or false. Now we go to task two. You can create your own family tree. For example, we have here, Jim is the father and Jane is the mother. And Jim and Jane, they have four children who are Alfred, Bertha, Charles and Doris. And can you can continue with Alfred having three children who are Joe, Heather and Barbara. And Bertha has uh, a child, Howard, Charles, uh, is childless, so he has no children. And then we have Doris with two kids who are Nick and Liz. So you can create a family tree by writing your father's name to replace Jim and also your mother's name to replace Jane. And then you can continue with the number of your siblings. Okay, so try out this task and you can create your own family tree in the exercise book. Now we're going to move on to the next section, which is you're going to watch a video. Okay, this is a GCI 3D animated short film. The title is The Controller. Okay, it is a family animated kids cartoon by Ringling Team. So for this video, we have task 3 answers these questions. You can, you can ask pupils to answer orally or writing the answers in the exercise book. Okay, question 1. What is the boy's name? Question 2. How did the mother get transported into the video game? Question 3. Name another level mom had to pass. Number 4. Who did the mother beat to win the game? Number five, why did the mother make the floor wet? Number six, did the boy clean his room? Seven, do you like the story? Give a reason for your answer. Oscar Phillips, quit playing video games and go clean your room. But mom, I did it this morning. Uh, I don't want to hear but it. Mom. Go.
Listen, we need to beat the game. What? Mom, Whoa. just trust me. No, 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 no! <laughs> yeah! <sighs> Did we beat the game? Uh, that was just the first level. There's still the Jungle of Despair, Poison Bamboo Forest, Gates of Destruction, and we still gotta beat the Dragon King. What? But don't worry, I've got a cheat. Benjamin, cheating? You know I don't approve of <laughs> That was amazing. Did you see that? All those trees, the mountains, and this castle. Wow! So where's this dragon king? Mom! Mom! did clean your room, didn't you? Yeah. <sighs> Two players? So, now let's move on to the writing lesson. So, uh, pupils are going to write an email. So this is a question from the textbook. Okay, read the writing task below and answer the questions. You are preparing for a special family occasion. Write an email inviting one of your fam relative to the party. In your invitation, you should Number one, say what the invitation is for. Second, say when the party is. And three, say who is coming. So write about 50 words. So let's look at the format. This is an example of an email. The writing form of the email is in the Google form prepared by the teacher. So you can click the link and write the email in the Google form or pupils can write in their exercise books. So the contents of the email. So important that uh, there are some things that you have to remember. For example, number one, you are preparing for a special family occasion. It could be a Mother's Day or Father's Day or even a birthday celebration. So you have to invite one of your relatives to the party. Okay, and say what the invitation is for. So what is that special occasion? And say when the party is. Okay, maybe you can mention the day, the date, and say who is coming to your party. So remember, you must answer what, what is a celebration, and who, it means who is coming to the party, or whose party is it for, where is it, and then when, the day and the time, why are you celebrating it, for what purpose, and then Maybe you can write about how are you going to prepare for the party or the activities in the party itself. So again, you can give the links to the Google Forms for the task to your pupils. Credits to ngl.com or close up 
Ministry of Education Malaysia for the textbook, bandsound.com for the music, Ringling Team Video for the video, the controller, and then to youtube.com. Thank you. That's all. That's a lesson on family ties. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Bye-bye.